Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be taking you through conditional formatting in Microsoft Excel. So conditional formatting uh, helps you to quickly highlight important trends or issues in your data without writing a single line of a formula or a code in Excel. So usually if I have to highlight some particular amount of data, let's say for example in the particular data sheet that you can see here in this video, let's say I wanted to highlight all the employees who are working in marketing department. So all the, those marketing department cells would be highlighted in a color which I would want it. I wanted to maybe highlight this data in a red color, yellow color, blue color, whichever the color. So this kind of formatting of data based on the conditions. Usually what does formatting means? Formatting is all about creating a look and feel of your file, look and feel of your uh, to the text or to the cell, to the row, to the column. Any highlighting of your content is what is formatting all about. The same formatting applied with certain conditions. Only when this condition is satisfied that particular cell will get highlighted or that particular range of the text or numbers would be highlighted. That's called as conditional formatting. So let's quickly uh, begin by looking at a simple employee data set on this sheet here. So we have details like employee name, the departments, the monthly sales that are being generated by each and every employer attendance percentage of the employees and then uh, performance ratings. So this kind of a data set usually is pretty common in HR departments or sales departments in most of the organizations as it is pretty essential uh, to monitor employees or sales people's you know, attendance and their performance from time to time and accordingly they are given ratings based on which employees would be given incentives or commissions based on the performance. So this is a pretty common thing. Now is it not great if Excel could visually highlight the top performers in the entire data set? Now in this particular data set I have almost you know 100 records right. Now I could have more number of records not necessarily 100 all the time. Now sometimes in some of the organizations you might have data set which is larger than 100. In such cases how do you you know, handle this data. So now, uh, this would be great if Excel could visually highlight the top performers and highlight the people with the lower attendance or, or maybe uh, better or lower sales targets achieved without manually hunting for them. Where are these people? Of course, you can do this even by giving filters, but then what happens? By doing filters, you can still extract the data. However, it doesn't highlight them to be visually visualized very uh, specific. So to, to make this uh, visualization pretty easier, to make the identification of such employees pretty easier in the data set, we use the concept called conditional formatting. That's where this concept conditional formatting comes in. So conditional formatting uh, helps you bring attention to every key values in your data you can automatically give a color color code to the cells or the range of cells based on the threshold values based on the trends and make your sheets much easier to read at one particular glance now even if you wanted to apply for any filters later on you need not apply filter onto the text or the content inside the cells you can even apply filters using the colors that we have given based on the conditional formatting so the advantage of conditional formatting even is when you change the value. Let's say for example, now there's this particular monthly sales data here in D2 is 14,891. This 14,891. Now if I wanted this value to be highlighted in say green color because it's a good revenue for me and it will be highlighted in green color because it is about 10,000 rupees and I gave a condition say for example any cell which is above 10,000 rupees should be colored into green. Now after some time I make a modification to it mentioning it is 9,000 rupees. In that case what happens it will now get down to another color because it is no more above 10,000 which is why it will be considered as uh, non-green which means whichever the color you give to 
the lesser value below 10,000, it will take it as that particular color. So that way, the conditional formatting would be useful for any user. So now uh, let's start looking at various options in conditional formatting and under home tab you have the option called conditional formatting here and if you see there are so many options under conditional formatting right from these are all predefined conditional formatting options highlight cell rules top or bottom rules data bars color scales and icon sets these are predefined options that you have and by selecting them your conditional formatting directly happens without any additional efforts however there could be certain instances where the requirement of the user doesn't come in any of the predefined options here though 90 percent of the customers requirements or user requirements would be fulfilled by these five options there could be certain uh, situations where these predefined options are not fitting to the user requirement in such case a uh, user can create his own new rule here this particular option new rule will be helpful for the user to create his own new rule as per his or her requirement and clear rules is one option which will help you to remove any of the conditional formatting applied into that particular selection or that particular sheet if there is any conditional formatting already applied I can remove that conditional formatting by using clear rules especially by giving selected cells or by selecting entire sheet and if you wanted to manage the existing rules maybe you want to change the color you wanted to change the text there you wanted to change the condition in that case existing rules are there and you want to make some changes to the existing rules or existing conditions you just go and click on manage rules that's how it is now uh, quickly let's start with monthly sales as a particular uh, example I'll just take you through the monthly sales data here and you can see we will be working on to this particular question on multi sales highlighting the top performers in particular data set now how where do I get the monthly sales I have this data in column number C yeah under column number C I have selected monthly sales this is the process of applying conditional formatting you have to first select the respective column on which you are applying conditional formatting now I have selected condition column number C because this uh, this is being applied for uh, monthly sales now what is the question use a color scale to visually show sales green for high and red for low so all the sales which are considered as higher sales should be uh, in a green color and all the sales that will be considered as lower sales will be considered into red color so top performance and bottom performances would be highlighted and the middle performance based on the value the color will get fluctuated so the color range would be between red and green in between any values that fall into between they will be in the combination of red green shades now let's see quickly a conditional formatting is ident identified into home tab under styles group go to conditional formatting now we know that we need to go to color cells as per the question here there are multiple options here which are predefined you can see the preview as a scroll on my mouse you can see how the colors are changing but in the question the colors are pretty clearly given to you as you wanted this between higher sales in green color and lower sales in red color so let me go to more rules here I'll have to choose two scale option here because I'm only putting into two scales here now the lowest value is already here the minimum value I mean the lowest value should be colored red and the highest value should be colored green now you see the color shades here between red to green all the cells in this particular column monthly sales would be colored in in this particular shade extremely high performer will be seeing a green color extremely lower performer would be seen in a red color and any mediocre values would be seen in colors like orangish brownish shades now let's click on ok and you see that the conditional formatting is here applied now 6496 here in this data is extreme red which means it is almost like a very lowest value in the data set now you see what will happen now here instead of mentioning 6496 I am considering it as 15,000 the moment I mention 15,000 you see what will happen now you see that the value is totally converted green it is one like 50,000 there and the rest of the value became red 
because compared to 15,000, these are all pretty smaller values according to the color adjustments has happened. Now, if I reduce one more zero here, now I made it 1500. Let me add one more zero. Now it is 15,000. You see the color changes are happening. If I say instead of 15,000, if I wanted uh, like 25,000, sorry. Next question would be on to uh, the attendance column. Uh, now let me quickly uh, choose the attendance column here. Yeah, column D which is having attendance in the data set has been highlighted. Now to this column what I have to do flag any one below 90%. Use a less than rule with red fill to bring attention to the lower attendance. So what I have to do I have to highlight all the attendance less than 90% into red color. As simple as that so go to condition formatting as usual highlight cells we have uh, we have the less than rule here under the highlight cells rule click on less than here what is can what is the condition mention 90% uh, less than 90% and that should be red fill so I'll just go click here fill color red and then okay now you see that the red fill has been given onto the attendance column. This is how the fill color can be used based on the less than rules. Similar way, I'll go to the next question for the performance column E, where we'll try to understand applying icon sets to the performance ratings. What is the question? We need to apply icon sets. The top ratings, you know, the top ratings get green icons medium ratings will get medium performance will get orange and lower will get red so three color i need to use either stars or arrows okay i'll, I'll try to use arrows and i'll give uh, green icons to the top raters and then for the medium performance i'll give orange color arrow and i'll give red arrow for the lower performance all right so click on performance rating column Go to conditional formatting. You have here icon set zero. Go to manage rules. Here I need to choose the arrows. Okay, I have arrows here. Red in the bottom arrow. Green is a top arrow, upper arrow. Orange is a horizontal arrow. Click onto this, and the values here can be as per your choice. Now let the let the values be remain same like this. As of now, it is mentioned in in terms of percentage. If you wanted the, the ratings in terms of value, let's say all the all the values above five i'll just use number instead of percentage all the num all the ratings above more than or equals to let's say four should be green all of those which are above three to four between three to four would be mentioned as uh, let's instead of that two to 2.5 2.5 to four should be orange and rest should be that's a red i should make it number so 2.5 yeah 2.5 i'll make 2.5 and all of those which are less than 2.5 will be given red so i can choose whichever the shape i wanted here and now i'll give a click on ok now you see that the specific icons are highlighted here now anything lesser than 2.5 should be given a red I don't see any value less than 2.5 here so what I'll do I'll randomly mention somewhere 2.4 now you see that particular value shown 2.2 let's say 2 as a 1.5 so you see, as you change the value the icons are getting automatically updated accordingly now if somebody says I don't wanted the number value to be here I only wanted icons that also we can do let's select performance rating go to conditional formatting now that the conditional formatting is already applied to the column if you wanted to make any changes to it you have to go to manage rules click on manage rules see the conditional formatting is already there you just select go to edit rule and here what you wanted you don't wanted values to be present only icon should be there in such case you can click on show icon only then click ok 
Now you see there are only icons, no values are present. That's how we can use icon sets rules from conditional formatting. And my last question of this video would be onto the department column wherein it is very specifically mentioned. I need to highlight specific test wherever it is mentioned as IT department. So I'll click on the department column, go to conditional formatting, highlight text that contains wherever there is IT, I need to highlight that into a different color. Now here in this question, no color is specifically mentioned. So I would choose my own. So go to custom format. I would like to go with blue color. I'll select blue, click on OK. And then OK. Now you see that the IT department is mentioned into blue color. This is how the conditional formatting can be used for uh, different requirements of the user on what conditions, what kind of a color highlighting has to happen to different kind of a data sets. You can do that and based on this, whichever the color you have for a particular column or a particular data set, you can even apply filters by using these colors. So that's all for now. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video.